today monday 14 june 2021 at about 11:30 a.m information received by the police indicated that a billion van had been attacked police swiftly responded and on the spot investigation indicates that the bullion van was on a daily sales collection errand and on reaching an area called Adedempo, that is a suburb of Jamestown, some unidentified armed men on not less than three motorbikes crossed the bullion van and started shooting sporadically. In the process, two persons were shot and killed instantly. The policeman on escort duty and also a lady whose identity the police is yet to verify. The bullion driver sustained gunshot wounds and has been sent to the Kolibu Teaching Hospital for treatment. Two tellers who were on the bullion van escaped and hurt. The weapon of the policeman was also taken away together with a specified amount of money. The crime scene experts have been invited to process the crime scene a greetings among for Ghana for a shuffle for greetings all of my viewers and my subscribers and I welcome you to the righteous messenger YouTube channel and among for you know we are day here today you know I want can share my thoughts on you know the Ghanaian police you know man Emmanuel say who was shot dead you know just because he was on duty or doing his job you know, but before I go do so, you know, I would like you know send my greetings and deepest condolences to Emmanuel Assays, you know, family and friends. It's a very sad story, a man for, and as you can see, I captioned the video. Ghana must learn from this tragedy and fix the country, a man for, because. You see, this tragedy, you know, what led to this tragedy you know, is part of, you know, why we are crying out loud that fix the country, you know. Why a bullion van? Why should a bullion van travel without bulletproof? Only one policeman was in there. He was shot dead. Hey! It be gonna be this. I'm not for it not be easy, yo. So I'm not for us did the talk, no. I'm robbers kill police officer, eyewitness, and injure bullion van driver at Jamestown. This thing happened at James Jamestown in broad daylight. Someone reporting that it was at 11 a.m. Pro daylight! Everybody is running rampage in the country. The politicians are corrupt to the extent that it's robbing on the citizens. I'm not for broad daylight or armed robbers are not even scared now. They usually operate in the dark, in the night. Now they are coming out in broad daylight. And they're attacking not even ordinary civilians or ordinary citizens. They're attacking policemen, killing them. I'm not for what is the country turning to? Lawlessness everywhere. From the politicians, from the chiefs, to the chiefs, the pastors and the prophets. Even down to the citizens. Corruptions everywhere. Why wouldn't you know an armed robber have the courage enough to go and kill a policeman in broad daylight? Because of lawlessness in the country, I'm on for and this is what we are saying. Fix the country, the country must change. Nana I just promise to come and fix things. And look at the situation now. It's worse than before. I'm on for once again. I would like, you know, send my greetings and deepest condolences to Emmanuel Osei's family and friends, his wife. If he's got any kids, you know, 
It's a very sad story. A man for say I'm robber have courage to shoot and kill policeman in broad daylight in Ghana. Hey! And even the way he was killed, it looked like, you know, an assassination type of, you know. Yeah, I'm on for. We where we get the pictures and the videos you see, you know, I'm on for. In, in, no, no, man. It, it is graphical. You know, if you even with Ibogo talks, it's graphical. You know, all social media platforms will refuse to accept such a footage. Ghana, is this where we are heading to? Eh? I'm out for. I know the security expert, too, but I hear say the IGP the talk say the bullion van belong to the banks. You see, so why, why, why would you let your member of staff, you know, a policeman, a valuable asset to the country, go and sit in a bullion van without, you know, you know, any form of protection against firearms? Have you answered that? You know, always coming out, you know, play, playing blame games, you know, always coming out giving excuses for, you know, you know, your, 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 your cock-ups. This is what our country is turning into. I'm out for. I think police should be, you know, properly trained and equipped, you know, to deal with the job. For being a police, not be easy thing. No. You not know, be easy thing. Me, I tell you, Babylon here. Hey, if if police not their duty, yeah, you don't know these guys are policemen. Unless if you be your family or if if you be your if you be your friend, you will never know because your amount for did they change for the station before after work? You no, know, they could change for the station before they could step out. So now if you step outside, you no. Know, it just they like ordinary citizens, you know. But Ghana, policeman finish work, go take a uniform, work at the in the end, go sit at Pateshiba. A sack rifle, you know, they hang up like that. Policeman, you drink. Why? A man for police should be paid enough as well so that, you know. To stop collecting bribes. I'm out for. Because if you're properly paid, why would you be begging for bribes? Or why would you be expecting bribe from you know, you know, you know, potential criminals? I'm out for. Like I talk, police should be paid properly. You know, so they can do their jobs. I'm for because Charlie, some stories where are they here? Here, no Charlie. You know, be easy, yo. I'm out for. The criminals self have more ammunition than the policemen. Ah, uh, uh, there was some video, some guy they talks to Charlie, some police go incognito, undercover, go do some interview, give some station they talks to him. most of the time the police, they, they patrol or they work at Charlie, only one bullet did them a rifle inside. Oh, well, look. Uh, some of us, they, they, they fight against these things, so it's like, you know, the country will be fixed. Police will be well equipped, police will be well paid, you know, the roads will be fixed, Calam say, you know, will, will be stopped, you know, uh, 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 water will be everywhere, electricity everywhere, you know, enough jobs for the youths, proper education facilities and systems, better healthcare facilities. I'm out for. You see, it be these things with a fight for for one country, the government. Needs to provide the country with these things. This is not a job of ordinary citizens. Ah, huh? see, policeman go lost his job. Sorry, policeman go lose his life. Hmm, somebody in your husband. I'm a fool. And. This be the things we actually like at the top you know, with the top fix the country campaign. Fix the country campaign. Police with a fire give you two, Charlie. 
you guys, it be you self way to stop us from doing the campaign, from airing our grievances. You know, just look at the, just look at the cost of living. The price of food they go up all the time. Transportation they go up all the time. Look at sanitation and and drainage systems in the country. I'm out for houses are built for tenants without toilets in there. Eh? Are there no regulations to you know govern you know this kind of structures in the country? Hmm. Ah. Uh, it's a story why it's a story anyway once again i will send my greetings and deepest condolences to emmanuel says friend and family you know or family and friends whichever way you take it if there's anything like that may he rest in peace i don't think he did anything wrong he was just doing his job and evil, wicked people took his life. I'm for your boy, the righteous messenger. May I come past you once again, and you know, thank you for viewing this video. And you know, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye bye.